गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ मेटास्टेबल स्टेट पॉपुलेशन इन्वर्जन एंड पंपिंग इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ लेजर राइट सो इन दिस केस सो फर्स्ट व्हाट इज मेटास्टेबल स्टेट वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज मेटास्टेबल स्टेट सो मेटास्टेबल स्टेट एक्चुअली वी नो दैट इट इज अ स्टेट इन बिटवीन द एक्साइटेड स्टेट एंड द ग्राउंड स्टेट राइट so normally we know that the mean lifetime of atom for spontaneous emission the mean lifetime of atom is 10 to the power minus 8 seconds after that atom goes to the ground state but there are some excited states for which the lifetime of atom is much longer that is suppose 10 to the power minus 3 seconds and which is greater than 10 to the power minus 8 seconds such states such energy levels are called metastable states just as like this in this diagram you can say you can see that here this is the ground state ground state energy level right so these are different excited states first excited is second another right here electron is an unstable is in unstable excited state right so here we can say that uh, atom uh, electron drops to the lower ground state through a radiation less transition that is radiation less transition means um, there is no uh, emission of radiations only heat is released in this transition right okay then after that in this excited state electron is in a meta stable state means electron stay or atom stay here for a longer time longer time as compared to the mean lifetime mean lifetime of the atom is 10 to the power minus 8 seconds but atom stay here for a longer time or time greater than 10 to the power minus 8 seconds that is 10 to the power minus 3 seconds right such states are called metastable states right so electron is now in a metastable state which is more stable than the previous state right so lifetime can be a millisecond here here the lifetime can be a nanosecond time scale so here lifetime in a millisecond time scale so metastable states are required to uh, required for stimulated emission to have enough time to be effective in producing laser light right so this step is the step of stimulated emission right now it is clear that what is a metastable state okay next is population inversion what is population inversion as you can see in this diagram as we already know that atom every atom achieves stability means so every atom is most of the atoms are in the ground state right so this is the normal distribution energy versus uh, number of atoms here number of atoms are in the ground state are higher than uh, lower than another excited state is very lower this is the normal distribution of atoms but when we know that population inversion as the name indicates inversion inversion means there is a inversion of population means the population of atoms or number density of atoms is greater in the excited state as compared to the lower state the number of atoms in excited state is greater than the number of atoms in the lower state this is called population inversion or you can say the process of achieving greater population density of atoms in higher energy state or excited state as compared to the lower energy state is called population inversion this process is called population inversion right okay then next is pumping what is pumping as we already know that uh, there are uh, in the previous uh, years or in the previous uh, our ancestors are using hand pumps for pumping water from the ground to on the surface and there we are using hand pumps here the same procedure applies in case of pumping this is one of the method of the pumping that is optical pumping there are different types of pumping actually pumping is what the pumping is the process of exciting laser medium into a suitable uh, sorry with a suitable form of external energy in order to achieve population inversion is called pumping means we just excite the ground state energy uh, ground state atoms with some sort of energy here we use optical pumping means uh, and light energy is uh, stimulated light energy stimulates the atoms which are in the ground state and when light energy is absorbed by these atoms they go to the excited state here 
right so this process is called pumping you can say this process is called pumping means the process of exciting atoms uh, exciting laser medium with suitable form of energy in order to achieve population inversion so you know population inversion means number of atoms in the excited state is higher as compared to the number of atoms in the dose state or the process of achieving greater population density in the excited state as compared to the lower state that is called population inversion now pumping is the process of exciting laser medium with suitable form of external energy in order to achieve population inversion is called pumping so we had discussed metastable state population inversion and pumping thank you very much